Hey everyone, I decided to do another wing video. Um, this one's going to be just um, hot. Um, I like I like to do them um, kind of like a balance. Um, when I think about hot sauce, I think about balance. Um, anybody can make something just extremely hot, and but it, it often doesn't taste that great. Um, so my my goal in this with any kind of making something just hot is having a good balance between hot and taste good so that's what i'm doing today so you can see here uh the spices i got i'm using crushed red pepper montreal steak uh black coarse black pepper um some weber grilled kicking chicken um and some cayenne pepper this is again what i just kind of mix it all in and um for to spread it around the wings. Um, I got the wings laid out on my little kind of cookie warming rack. I use it kind of to do any kind of meat. It actually just keeps it out of the gunk and the water and all the oil that kind of drips. So it's also good for what I'm using it for because um, it keeps that, it, it lets the moisture go out of it and kind of dries the skin to get the skin crispy. So first I'm going to use the cayenne pepper here and just do a good amount on each wing um, since I'm going for hot this time. And here I got my uh, seasoning all kind of mixed up a good amount of crushed red pepper as you can see in there um and just to a, a good amount on each like i said i kind of tend to over season it's um sometimes you can pay for it later but um, I just tend to like it that way. Plus, some comes off in the cooking process. I mean, you're flipping wings, you're putting them on the grill, stuff falls off on the grill, especially when you sauce it, that kind of thing. So that's why um, I like to be kind of generous with it. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven on broil for a while and then get the grill started and get it going. So I got my grill all set up with the water pan and coals to one side and there are my wings after I broiled them. Uh, so I'm gonna put these on and about 30 to 45 minutes I will flip and then sauce. And so the sauce, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for that in a little bit. Here I got everything out for what I'm going to make my sauce with. I got some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, some Moore's habanero, spicy habanero sauce, uh, some Texas Pete wing sauce, some Frank's Red Hot wing sauce. It's the hot buffalo style. Um, that sauce has a lot of good flavor. Um, I like using it by itself a lot of times. Um, this Frank's Red Hot stinging garlic sauce. It's like a honey garlic sauce. Um, some deli mustard with horseradish and some sambal, some minced garlic. I use about a third a stick of butter. And after I mix all that up, I'll put in some cayenne pepper and some seasoning I used on the wings. Um, ratio this time, um, the barbecue sauce really is to just add some kind of depth of flavor and to thicken up the sauce. So I only use a little bit of it. Um, so looking about a 70-30 kind of ratio everything else, um, I just kind of eyeball it. I, I really don't measure things out. I, I put a little of this and a little of that. And here I am out here on the grill and the wings have been on for about 30 minutes. They got a good color on top and uh, here's my sauce. So now I'm going to flip them and sauce them. Then I'm gonna let those sit for about 25, 30 minutes on that side, flip them back over again and then sauce the top and let them sit for about 15 minutes. So here's the final product. Uh, you can see wings look very nice. 
um, tasted the sauce earlier and it's quite spicy. So, um, again, all in what you want to make. Um, you can make it as hot as you want to. Like I said before, I like to go for a balance. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, just let me know.